YouTube doesn't allow alcohol. This is the next best thing. But anyway, thanks for jinxing this show for me, Jeremy. I appreciate it. But overall, I'm, I mean, I'm interested. I'll admit it. I don't know for how long. I just hope I'm not judging it too harshly. That one didn't age quite so well. Star Wars The Acolyte takes place a hundred years before the original trilogy and is about the Jedi having a murder mystery on their hands and a bunch of lesbian witches. You know, Anakin Skywalker, throw that out too. He's not important anymore. Let's start off with the stuff I do like. The stuff I like is fight choreography throughout the show. Episode 5 has one of the best lightsaber fights I have ever seen out of the Disney era of Star Wars. Besides the Clone Wars, of course. But the fight choreography is really amazing. Main villain of the show, Darth Thirst Trap, as I like to call him. He Thirst Trap is the best person out of this show. Besides that, oh, we're in for a treat with this show. Um... I wonder how these cookies taste with this milk. Ooh, I got the Emperor. Just prolonging talking about the bad stuff because, wow, not bad. Not bad at all. This show has lesbian witches that create twins, and then Darth Plagueis shows up at the end. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? For a teaser for season two, because there shouldn't be a season two. God. Emotional damage! This show sucks, man. What they do with the prequels, they make a mockery out of it. This stuff breaks canon and introduces characters who aren't even born yet. And why does it break canon? Why does it matter? Because of this specific line right here. Who doesn't know their master? The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. No, where is that? Oh, yeah, you want to know how they fix that issue? Let's Spider-Man No Way Home all of this. It makes no sense. Maybe you should get someone who knows the names of the actual Star Wars characters to be in your Star Wars show? You can't look and see the Anakin blowing up the Death Star, but possibly killing no. millions and millions of people. No. Anakin blowing up the Death Star. Anakin blowing up the Death Star. Oh no. The Acolyte, dull, boring, forgettable. Only two things I remember from this show. I'm gonna give The Acolyte a D minus. At least I'm gonna go cleanse my mind with something really awesome here soon. Give the people what they came for. Deadpool and Wolverine. LFG, baby. LFG.